Andrew, got to ask you this. Okay, I don't know that there is a program in the country that has as much pressure on it. And I'm going to take out Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, because they've been, for the most part, pulling through and getting to the playoffs in, in Oklahoma now with a new coach. But now that Jimbo Fisher is entering a fifth season with, with all the resources and everything that's been poured into this program and the recruiting classes that have been ridiculously good. And of course, this latest one is the creme de la creme uh, of all time. Now they're only going to have so much impact initially. Uh, we're going to have to wait a couple of years yeah. to see the, the total impact. But I just, I just think that this program, everybody's waiting across college football for them just to break through and have a monster season, which to me, especially considering the division, let's say Alabama's Alabama and they go undefeated or maybe lose one game. Not necessarily the Texas a and going to win the SEC, but they are going to strongly, strongly compete for it. And maybe the only difference between them getting to Atlanta and not is some kind of barn burner against Bama. And otherwise, they show themselves to be a you know, top five or six team in the country. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of but they you know, the goal has been and what they've sold recruits on is is having the chance to come to be, you know, come be the first to to, you know, get to that college football playoff and and get over the hump. And so um I do think the expectations are high. They've set them high. Um this recruiting class is gonna do nothing to to kind of quell that that anticipation and the, and those expectations and, you know, they're, they're building towards it. They need to get better in, in a couple key areas. They obviously need to get better or more consistent offensively. Um, kind of need to get, I would say, you know, strong play at the quarterback position. They're, they're looking to really solve that position, whether it's Max Johnson or, or Haynes King, or it's Connor Wigman um, when he's ready to go. I think, I think the expectations are high and uh, you know, they've invested in this football program from a coaching standpoint, from resources, analysts, from every angle. Now I do think they want to, you know, become a consistent contender and, and, you know, win, win 10 games on a consistent basis, be in the mix, be in the conversation. Um, and I, I think that's kind of where the expectation is. Um, you know, I don't think anybody's, expecting them to consistently be, you know, right up there yet with the Alabamas and Georgias, but I think they want to be in the conversation for the college football playoff. Um, eight and four was certainly a disappointment. I don't think there's any, you know, doubt about it. That's, that's not where they want to be. And uh, they, but, you know, but being a consistent top 10 program and competing for the college football playoff and being in the conversation, I think is exactly where they want to be.